How many times have you thought to yourself, if I could just reach in and motivate that person, things would be a lot easier? Well, this is your lucky day because that motivation you're looking for really comes down to two criteria. Let's have ourselves a pocket-sized pep talk and start you on your path to motivating others. A pocket-sized pep talk podcast that can help energize your business and your life with a quick, inspiring message. Now, here's your host, Rob Jollis. The fact is, when it comes down to it, there are really only two ways to motivate others. People are motivated by consequence or value. That's not debatable. What is debatable is exactly how to figure out which is appropriate for the person you're communicating with. For example, Your typical cigarette smoker will stop smoking for one of two reasons. They might quit because it begins to dawn on them just how much money they might save and what they could do with that money. That's value. Or they may stop because of a health scare they hear from a friend or even one from their own doctor. Consequence. Even in this example, you can see that consequence is often the more powerful motivator, But let's save that for another time. The fact is that it comes down to learning what motivates each unique individual. Consequence is seen through the eyes of another as, well, what will happen if I don't make a change? Value is seen through the eyes of another as, what will happen if I do make a change? It would make things much easier if people showed up with a user's manual and told you which motivation they subscribe to, but it doesn't work that way. We've got to figure it out on the fly. So if you want to speak to someone else's language, it's awfully important to determine what motivates them to action. I want you to start by encouraging you to remember, it's not what motivates you, it's what motivates the person you're communicating with. How many times have you brought someone a gift you thought he or she was going to love, but you realized later it was you who loved that item? This same kind of blindness takes place when we motivate others, and we have to be wary of it. Let me give you a couple of ideas to help figure this out. Anyone who has ever spent a minute with me already knows any conversation begins with questions. The more someone else talks, the more they typically like us. It makes sense to begin with easy, non-problem related questions such as, well, what brought you into this business? You'll probably hear one of two answers. I always wanted to work for myself. I just couldn't stand putting in the hours for someone else's profit. See, that reflects a decision based on consequence. Maybe hear this. I always wanted to work for myself. I enjoy spending time with people and working with their families. See, this reflects a decision based on value. Quite simply, if you hear a response filled with concern that needed to be addressed, you're working with someone who's making decisions based on consequences. If you hear a response that paints a more pleasant picture of change, you're working with someone who makes decisions based on value. You can choose questions that mirror the appropriate approach, drilling down into the consequence of not making a change or the value of making that change. As you dig deeper into the conversation, you can use questions to fit the person, such as, oh, I always wanted to work for myself. I just couldn't stand putting in the hours for someone else's profit. Why not follow with a question like, how many hours a week were you putting in? Or I always wanted to work for myself. I enjoy spending time with people and working with their families. Maybe we follow it with, What are some of the other benefits you get from working for yourself? See, by understanding what motivates people and learning how to determine these qualities in those you're conversing with, you can structure your conversation to support this. This knowledge will go a long way in helping you to connect at a much deeper level with those you're communicating with. It's just a matter of speaking the other person's language, so to speak. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's show, please rate and recommend it on iTunes, Outcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get more information on this show and Rob at Jollis.com.